I can't wait for this camo grind to be done. Hello, Hova236 here, and we are back with another episode of Black Ops Cold War. I have been thoroughly addicted to this game and or frustrated with this game. The camo grind has been something I have never tackled before, but we're going to try and keep chugging on along, hopefully. And just to show you my progress, so I set up this class, we got the XM4 and the AK-47, now gold, and looking pretty snazzy. Yeah, here's the XM4 and the AK-47. As you can see, I am very close to diamond in a sense. <laughs> Almost halfway there. We are still working on the assault rifles, and I let someone decide which one I'm going for next, and I realized it is the worst assault rifle in this game so far. Which is funny because it's the FFAR. This gun is awful. So far, I, I'm i level 10 and I got some of the camos unlocked, three of them, which great freaking start. Uh, I realized that this gun does not work in core. Do not try using this gun in any core modes. It will not work unless you want to unload an entire clip into your enemy and maybe you will kill them. If you can get over the fact that the recoil is so terrible. Terrible. One of my last videos when I was talking about the camo challenge and the weapon leveling and complaining about it, I realized one thing. I really needed to get out of core because core just does not help whatsoever. So I take some of my complaining back. Weapon leveling does take a very long time still, but going into hardcore does make up for it a little bit in a sense. I love core. I do. I'm a typical core player. I don't think I will ever go back. Oh my goodness. Let's look at the recoil. I do have... That's with two attachments to help with the vertical recoil and then the horizontal recoil. This is up close and that's far away. Like... What? How is this gun even usable? And this thing is a hit marker machine in hardcore. I'm not even talking about typical core. Like I got hit markers. Granted, I did shoot him in the stomach. I did. This won't be the first time we see that happening. As of my last video, the Vertigo video, I am feeling a lot better. I did go and just get checked out by the doctor and he's like, oh, here's some meds for the dizziness and I think it was just a couple of days and then I get, felt pretty much back to normal. So we're doing pretty good now. COD did not affect it, which is very weird. Cause I know vertigo has a lot to do with like your eyes, like just not focusing or anything. And I, I did all right. I mean, there was some instances where it's like, it could have been my eyes. Otherwise it was just me being bad at the game but we'll just go with my eyes in this game i got a hit marker and then shot around him and still didn't hit him i will say i don't entirely like hardcore for the fact you die super quickly but going for these camel challenges oh my goodness it is a lifesaver one thing that absolutely sucks about this gun is the amount of bullets you get for how fast it shoots. It, it's a 25 bullet default magazine and it just blows through it super inaccurately. One thing I do like... What the hell? Magnus! Relax, bro! Why does my bloodthirsty always end at four? You were looking at me forever. Yeah, I did not good at all. 
Maybe they'll put me in a good game next time. The team killer got the best play. The good thing is, by the time this comes out, Nuketown will be up. I don't know if I'll get a video on it right away, but I will probably be playing it right away. I'm so excited for Nuketown. I I don't care that they've like reskinned it so many times. It's on its because technically this is Black Ops 5, so fifth reskin, and it looks good. I won't I won't show any footage, but they already have the trailer out for it. it should be dropping Tuesday the 24th, so a couple days before Thanksgiving. It looks like it's going to be fun. I mean, it's the same layouts and everything, but just the new new flair, I guess, is a good way to say. That way I don't have to run across this entire map just to find someone. But I am going to be that guy and use the China Lake. Uh, being cheesy is fun sometimes. I really shouldn't be using this. I should focus on the gun at hand, but it's fun sometimes. Because that's not. I should really be going for headshots, but honestly, just killing with this gun in general is a feat itself. Mistakes were made, but I don't think they were. That felt good. The amount of hit markers this gun gives in hardcore compared to all the other guns is ridiculous. Like with the XM4 and the AK, like I maybe got one every once in a while that I noticed that it's like, okay, fine. They outgunned me that time, but I could get two or three on this gun. So, so far with the guns that I've used to get gold, I would say the XM4 is better than the AK. Like, it's a pretty big difference. I mean, with hardcore, it's harder to tell, but between the two, I would, I would still pick the XM4. Because the recoil of the AK is just a little too, too whack, is a good way to put it. How is that not a headshot? I don't even know who's winning, but I feel like I'm losing on the inside. I still think that leveling the gun to get the camo to even be able to unlock it, that was awful. I should be able to get the Fafar gold within a week or so if I keep playing. I'm recording this on Sunday, so maybe by next Sunday. Um, I'm working almost every single day, and then Thanksgiving, I'm going home to my parents. I feel like for with my schedule, I'm kind of blowing through it in a sense. I could be doing this a lot more efficiently, but I'm not. So, But if I can get the ARs done before the middle of December, I think I'd be doing pretty good but the knife and the china lake i've been trying to level up as much as i can and the meantime this used to be like one of my favorite maps probably the favorite but everyone plays it so terribly on hardcore so much camping on this plane i'm probably not going to make so many of these cut commentaries because I, I know, like, the person who's well most well-known for it is FaZe Jeb, at least in my opinion. And I got his name in my clan tag now. For good luck. And I don't want to be like him and just only do this. I do have other stuff that I like doing. And I don't want to copy him by any means. I am just going to make content that I love producing. So I'm probably gonna slow up on these a little bit. I have some ideas for new series here and there. So how are you guys liking it? And if you don't have it, are you going to get it? And do you wanna see more of these types of videos? I don't wanna do as many as I have been doing, but still enjoy making them from time to time. Still enjoy getting hit markers all the freaking time with this gun. But not really, that's a lie. Also, we are closing in on 200 subs. We are 22 away. So, if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. I upload every Tuesday and Friday with COD, funny moments, random games, watchdogs, Legion. Please subscribe, helps me out a lot. So, I'm gonna leave it here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you next time from the other side of the screen. Have a good one.